The verdict that sent shockwaves around the world, American student Amanda Knox, facing 26 years in an Italian prison after being convicted in the murder of her roommate, Knox's devastated family vowing to appeal. Her mother spoke with Elizabeth Vargas, who joins us live now from Perugia, Italy. Elizabeth. Good morning, Diane. Italian papers this morning are full of headlines defending the verdict as just and denying there was any anti-Americanism attached to it. In the meantime, jurors are speaking out. One juror told ABC News that even though she voted to convict Amanda Knox, she does not think that the 22-year-old college student is evil. That is small comfort to the Knox family. I had the opportunity to sit down with Amanda's mother, Etta Mellis, for her first interview since her daughter was convicted of murder. As Amanda Knox's family came to the courthouse at midnight Friday, it was pandemonium as they tried to push their way in to hear the verdict in their daughter's murder trial. We couldn't get in. I mean, we, we got to the door. We got within about 10 feet of the door. And then they finally, because the crowd was so huge and crushing, we turned around and had to find a back entrance to get into, to get in, even get into the courthouse. Going into it, were you nervous? Yes. Absolutely. You're, you know, you're going in and, and, and people are deciding, you know, uh, basically the life of your child. And, um, oh yeah, it was horrific. Heart pounding? Heart pounding. People were feeling definitely ill, sick to your stomach. When it came to the moment that they read the verdict, mm -hmm. you don't speak Italian. Mm -hmm. How did you know that it was guilty? I heard somebody in the uh, gasping from the audience, you know, back where the, the public stood and heard somebody say, no, no. And then, then I heard other people weeping back in the, you know, in the public area. And I thought, wow, um, it, took, it took me a minute for, and then I could see Amanda. What did, and what did she do when she, because she obviously does speak Italian and understood exactly yeah, what Yeah, she put her happened. head down and then she started to cry. What did you do? It's all this really weird memory that I don't remember. I cried. Some of the lawyers were crying. It was chaos. Within moments, Amanda was whisked out of the courtroom into a van and back to her prison cell. As her devastated family left court, they vowed to appeal, a lengthy and expensive process for a family that has already spent their life savings on their daughter's defense. How will you do this? Will you move here? Will you continue to have a member of your family here? Well, well we will do whatever it takes to support Amanda. But obviously you had been hoping for making arrangements to fly her home this oh, yeah. week. Yeah, absolutely. What do you say to people who say, she was found guilty. She must, she must have done something that night, something horrible. All over the world, and this is just isn't Italy, it's the United States, it's everywhere that truly innocent people are found guilty, and this is one of those cases. She's, she's innocent. This weekend, Amanda's family was allowed into the prison to see her for the first time since the verdict. And what did you say, each of you, to Amanda when you saw her yesterday? What was the last thing you said to her? You'll get out of here, don't worry. Keep your chin up, courage. And that's what her lawyers told her. Told all of us. What, what was that? To have courage that we need now to be strong for Amanda, that this is not the end, that they will fight for her and that she will get out of there. In the meantime, the diplomatic ramifications continue to reverberate through Italy. The senator from the Knox's home state of Washington has criticized the verdict publicly, calling it unfair and possibly the jury impar not, par not impartial. She has asked Secretary of State Hillary Clinton to look into the trial, and the Secretary of State has said she will.